All right, tonight we are doing Halloween look number eight. So for tonight's look, I really want to do this zipper face. I haven't quite decided on where I want the zipper to go, but I'm going to do a beauty section and then obviously we're going to come up with something to put in the zipper area. Okay, this might turn out to be a hot mess, but we're going to give it a go. i am decided that I'm going to put the zipper up this direction. I'm going to do a pumpkin face in here, and I'm going to do a beauty-related one over here. So because this is going to be a pumpkin one, just to kind of go with the theme, I'm going to do a green eye look over here. So the palette I'm going to be using is the Blend Buddy Cosmetics All Done Up palette. I'm going to start with the shade Shapely and do a rainbow shape on my eye. So now that I have that shape stamped on there, I'm just going to work my way up the color. All right, now that I have that done, I'm going to take some Vaseline, remove the center because like I said, we're doing the halo eye. Now that I have that done, I'm going to bring these same colors underneath my eye. All right, so here is the eye finished. I'll zoom in so you can kind of get a look at that. At the very end, I'll put lashes on. So now what I'm going to do is put the zipper on my face and I'm just going to line with a peach eyeliner just to kind of map it out. And I'm going to start working on the pumpkin section. Okay, so this is like generally where <laughs> it's going to be. So let's get started. Now the reason I'm doing the pumpkin section first now is because when I go to put my foundation on, it's gonna clean the line up through here. So here's what I'm working with. I think I'm gonna go more like skeleton pumpkin shape because I'm working with such a small section. So I just mapped out where I'm going to place all my black. So I'm going to put my contact in and start filling in all the black spots. I'm using my Athena palette to fill everything in with and that's what I'm gonna be using to detail and paint with. So here's what it's looking like right now. I just went ahead and set my eye with black shadow over the cream black. And now I'm working on the orange. I'm mixing the coral or the peachy color and the orange together. Just remember whenever you're working with cream products that you always make sure you set them. I'm going to be taking an orange shadow and setting the orange cream paint. And if you want to obviously enhance the color, just stick with the color family. So orange with orange, black, black, blue, blue, that kind of thing. Otherwise, if you like how the cream's looking, then just set it with the translucent powder. All right, so I think I'm done with the pumpkin section. I'm just gonna zoom you in. I just took a fine little brush and then I just did little zigzags all over the place until I was happy with it. Remember the edges don't need to be neat because now I'm going to do my foundation which will clean that up and then the zipper will lay over the top of it. I also grabbed City Colors Water Activated Liner and this one is UV and I just put a few little strips in there for highlights just so it will glow. All right, all the complicated stuff is done. So now I'm going to finish the rest of this and come back with the finished look. All right, you guys, here's the look finished. I just accessorized the way I would wear this as a costume and I'm super happy with how this came out. Thanks for watching.